Its single best chart. We showed this chart earlier. It's so important, but we're going to take a different tact here with Chris Grisanti. I want to go back, Chris Grisanti, to the 60s. This is associated with a Carter malaise where the moving average here touches the long-term moving average. It was a brutal time sure. for institutional managers. And, you know, there's a sort of malaise in the last decade. Mm -hmm. Do you see malaises coming? If we get the Grisanti malaise, do you see it coming? <laughs> no, I don't think so, Tom. What, but what I am wanting to warn people about is, is the that the low volatility that we see now, it hasn't been this low since the Kennedy administration, so you go back to the early part of the 1960s, yeah. uh, and that's not normal. So I don't see malaise. I see continued upward movement because we've got tax reform, we've got GDP finally hitting above 3% for two quarters in a row. That's all good. What we're kind of lulled into sleep about is the fact that we have had no 3% moves, 3% uh, drawdowns this year in the S&P, and that's the first time that's happened since 1963. So, you know, I see volatility ahead. Yes, Nera? Oh, sorry, Chris. I just wanted to ask, because we've mentioned a lot of uh, big things happening in the U.S. this week and how that feeds into the equity rally. I want to take this global and ask about China. Sure. If China sneezes, does the U.S. equity rally catch a cold? Uh, I think so, but but I don't see them sneezing. In fact, I, I see them, I see their health, uh, the, the cold is going away. So, in other words, we see uh, relaxation ahead for Chinese um, fiscal policy, and, and I think that you'll see... Uh, lower rates there over the next year, and I think uh, the, the, the Communist Party meetings have shown that he's in total control and that he's going to be able to do what he wants, and I think what he wants to see next is flourishing economic growth, and I think we'll see more of that next year rather than less.